So in this video, what we're going to do is that we're going to focus on the part where we have to construct the function y23 theta phi. And then we're going to do that by considering these three formulas over here. So we're going to start off with this term. So as you can see that we're dealing with the case where m is equal to 2 and l is equal to 3. So all we have to do is just to substitute everything inside this formula. So we start off with the epsilon. So epsilon is a special term that is equal to negative 1 to the power of m when m is larger than 0. So for the case where m is equal to 2, epsilon is just equal to negative 1 squared, so it's just equal to 1. And then we have the square root, and it is the square root of, first of all, 2l plus 1. In our case, l is equal to 3, so we have 2 times 3, 6 plus 1, so 7. So we have 7 divided by 4 pi. And then we have l minus m factorial, so 3 minus 2 factorial, that's 1 factorial. And then here we have l plus m factorial, that's 2 plus 3 factorial. So that's 5 factorial, and this is going to be equal to 120. So this is going to be the square root term. And then immediately after that, we have e to the power of i m phi. m is equal to 2, so it becomes 2 i phi. And then we have the associated Legendre polynomial. So we have p, 2, 3, cosine theta. So now our next challenge is to evaluate this term. Once we find this term, we can just substitute it back into this expression, and we will obtain our function. So let's open a new page. So now we're going to have to find, first of all, the Legendre polynomial, which would allow us to find the associated Legendre polynomial, which afterwards we would substitute in cosine theta in place of the x, and then we will be able to substitute this term back into this expression. So now we're going to start off with the Legendre polynomial. And in our case, we want to find p3x, because in our case, l is equal to 3. So let's start off with p3x, and then we're going to use this formula. So p3x is going to be equal to 1 over 2 to the power of 3. And then we also have 3 factorial. And then we have the derivative operator, and then we're going to apply it 3 times to the power of l. And then we have x squared minus 1 to the power of 3. So uh, let's deal with these constants. So this is equal to 8. This is equal to 6, so that becomes... 48, and then we are going to have to differentiate this term three times, and we can expand this, so this just becomes x to the power of 6 minus 3x to the power of 4 plus 3x squared minus 1. So differentiating this one, this becomes 6x to the power of 5 minus 12x to the power of 3 plus 6x. So we have differentiated this once, and then this operator goes down by 1. And so we differentiate this again, so we pull this down, so 30x to the power of 4 minus 36x squared, and then this becomes plus 6. So we've differentiated it a second time, and the operator goes down to 1. And then we differentiate this one last time, so 120x to the power of 3, and then minus 72x, and this, this becomes 0. So we've differentiated our polynomial for the last time. So in the end, what we have is this polynomial divided by 48. And you can see that the coefficients and the denominator, they both have a common factor of 24. So if we take away the 24, this becomes 2, this becomes uh, 5, and this becomes 3. So in the end, you have 1 half 5x to the power of 3 minus 3x. And so this is your p3 of x. So now taking this, we can f then find the associated Legendre polynomial. In our case, we're looking for p23x, and then we're just going to use this formula. So we have 1 minus x squared. First of all, m to the power uh, to the power of m over 2. m is equal to 2 in this case, so it's just uh, to the power of 1. And then we have uh, ddx, and then we're going to apply it 2 times because m is equal to 2. So m is equal to 2. And then we're going to apply this onto the Legendre polynomial that we just got. So we have 1 half, and then we have 5x to the power of 3 minus 3x. And so now we need to differentiate this term. So let's differentiate it once. So when we differentiate this, this becomes 15x squared minus 3. So that's after the first differentiation. And then we will apply this a second time. So this becomes 30x. This other term becomes 0. So these go away. So we've, we've applied the two derivatives already. And then you can see that this becomes 15. And then we have 
So don't forget the x over here. So we have 15x times 1 minus x squared. So this is going to be the associate of the Jaeger polynomial. And now we're ready to substitute in cosine of theta. So this gives us cos 15 cosine theta, 1 minus uh, cosine squared theta. And the 1 minus cosine squared theta, that's just equal to sine squared theta. So we have 15 sine squared theta, cosine theta. And so now we are ready to substitute everything back into this expression. So we have 7, 4 pi, we have a 1, on, 1 over 120. We have these e terms, and then now we can substitute in uh, 15 sine squared theta, cosine theta. And then I can move the 15 inside the square root. This becomes 15 squared. And then if you work out, uh, work out some of the factors, you'll see that this whole term will just become 105 divided by 32 pi. And then we just multiply it with these phi and theta terms. So sine squared theta, cosine theta. And so there we have it. This is how you construct y23.